Jack, good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm good, Jake. How are you? I'm doing so well. Uh, I love you. Chicago obviously loves you. I got a thousand questions for you, so I'm just going to jump into this. Um, This might be a weird question to start out, but I honestly, I I just love so much of who you are, both on camera and in real life. And and I love that it revolves around just being a nice guy. Your entire persona is that of a really sweet, sincere guy. But I'm wondering, I guess just as someone who is always in the public eye, does that make it tough to have a bad day when so many people expect you to be sweet and happy all the time? Like, how do you go out in public if you're inevitably one day just in a bad mood? I think I've been a little bit lucky that I haven't had days that are just like overpoweringly bad. Um, But also I think in just my old age, I've realized like, oh, it's not my, it's not this gentleman's fault person at the gas station. You know, I, I, I'm able to, compartmentalize just a little bit better about about what I can control, what I can't control. Like that dog, get that That's dog. A, yeah, my, my dog loves you very much. He wanted you to know that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I am talking to you from Chicago. So I was wondering if we could just really briefly talk about your time at Second City. I'm wondering what you remember mm-hmm. most about your time there and what's the skill that you learned there that maybe you still use today and maybe even brought to this show? 1000%. Uh, Chicago, my time in Chicago, 1995 to 2002. And most of that was studying and performing improv at Second City, Improv Olympic, the Annoyance Theater. Uh, those are probably my most cherished memories. Um, it kind of like got me to where I am now. Some life lessons I learned though, and maybe it is just the period in your life. But one thing I did learn that I still carry with me is uh, someone else's success does not equal my failure. Um, You know, because you'd see people get promoted up to the touring company or whatever, and you're like, oh, and that's just human nature, and so you can't beat yourself up for that. But what I realized is like, my path is my path, and nobody else's, and that's pretty amazing. And, you know, nobody else can do the things that I can do, and that's pretty amazing. So I started to celebrate those aspects, and it made it made everything a whole lot easier. And I do incorporate that today. Um, nobody else can do exactly the things that I do. And how can I best utilize that? Let's try doing children's programming. Let's see how that how that fares. So we shall see. I love that. You know, I feel like one of the best compliments I can give this show is that I genuinely, truly, with all my heart, believe that Mr. Rogers would have loved this show. I'm curious, is it safe to say that his fingerprints or at least on the spirit of this show? And and did you think of him much whenever you were making it? Absolutely. Uh, The show was greatly inspired by uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Uh, One of our main consultants, Dr. Jean Lei Li, worked with the Fred Rogers Institute. And so he was very, very helpful and helped shape and navigate the episodes, the storylines, how how things looked. Uh, So by all means, I make no claims to be Fred Rogers by any stretch of the imagination. But you know what? I am Jack McBrayer and I want to honor these messages. What is the best way that I can do that? How how can we emulate these messages and, and honor this man? I love that because there aren't enough shows like that today. Mm-hmm. So I love that you're doing this. I'm going to cut you loose on this and be honest with you. There, there isn't a month that goes by that in my newsroom, we don't talk about what I think is one of the greatest comedy sketches of all time, which is you at the Wiener Circle uh, here in Chicago. I know it has to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. What? Because I've actually I went and shot a sketch there and it's just it's terrifying and it's hilarious and it's fantastic. What do you remember most about shooting there and how do we get you back there today? Oh, you won't, sir. You, will not <laughs> get me back there. you won't get me back there. I am so grateful for how well it was received i might not ever need to set foot back in there again that was a lot that's a that's traumatic also i don't like hot dogs <laughs> that's that's a that's a bad combination between those two uh jack seriously man i love you thank you so much for everything you've done for comedy in chicago and thank you for putting out shows like this of which there are not enough of so seriously i appreciate you and i had a very busy day so i appreciate you fitting me in and taking the time thank you so much i really appreciate all that all right have a good day buddy yes sir bye now all right see you later Going, we don't need roads.